The Rays are surging into the All-Star break as one of the hottest teams in baseball. Going into Wednesday, they had won 10 of their last 11 meetings, including a Major League Best six straight games. During this stretch, the hitting has been consistent, the fielding solid, and the pitching stellar. The only thing that hasn't been reliable is attendance at Tropicana Field, which remains disappointingly low. During the first two games of the Rays' homestand against the Twins, attendance did not break 13,000 fans. These are low marks even for weekday games against a weak opponent. On Wednesday night, the Trop played host to another meager crowd. No line snaked around concession stands, many of which were closed. No teaming throngs filled the concourse. Some games on the lower level sat idle, and the upper levels felt especially empty. As Jeremy Hellickson rocked and delivered the game's first pitch, seas of empty blue seats ringed the field. The stadium felt cavernous. Attendance is a perennial issue for the Rays, and despite the recent ascent into second place in the AL East, crowds continue to be sparse. With a weekend slate against the Astros looming, stadium officials are hoping post-game concerts can bring in fans. On Saturday, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Sunday, they hope Carly Rae Jepsen can make the fans come calling. This is Zachary T. Sampson reporting for TampaBay.com.